Mans, here we go. Uh, that was a... You, you know it was a voice command, don't you, Ericsson? I programmed it ahead of time. Alright, first game. Varkin! Fuck, it's Varkin! <laughs> He's really good. Uh, Trinity Drones, Thermite Core. Apollo is here. The one that can snipe any unit with three or less health. And then Shadow Fangs. So Shadow Fangs would lose to Apollo now, wouldn't they? I mean, uh, Shadow Fangs. Yeah, Shadow Fangs would lose to Apollo. Because Apollo would just snipe them. Antima Comet could be a very good strategy. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm going second, so Antima Comet is more available to me than others. Because I can do double drone green on the second turn. Drone. Double drone turn. What is an ossified drone? At the start of your turn, gain one money like a normal drone, and then I can click to pay a blood, I mean pay a red resource, and consume a drone to construct an ossified drone. So basically I can pay red to turn a drone into an ossified one that has 2, de two HP and can still block. So drones become more defensive in that way. It's kind of like a red uh, trinity drone. Interesting. Making drones more resistant. Interesting. Interesting. So what the hell is my game plan, basically? Drone. Charlie. Double drone turn. Because <sighs> I could just spam Antima Comet. But Varkin once defeated me when I spammed Antima Comet. He was the one who actually showed me how to counter that strategy. And he did that before, I think, with, what, Lucina? I'm not sure. Something really aggressive. So if he goes for Shadow Fangs, actually. But then he's going Blast Forge already. So maybe he will not have enough uh, proper offense to deal with my Antima Comet Rush. Drone. I don't know, I haven't practiced Antima Comet Rushes enough to really even... To even execute them properly, I'm not sure. I may want a Blast Forge and maybe one Steel Splitter. So that if he goes for something aggressive, I will be able to defend. He goes Steel Splitter as well. I guess I need a wall. Considering that I want to defend fast without losing an Engineer. Yeah, that is a pretty badass drone now, isn't it? Drone. Ossified drones defend even when they work? Well, really? Whoa, really? That is crazy! How? That is OP, what the fuck? Alright, so that will allow me to build a Comet next turn, I believe. And I can add one more drone. Let's see how he deals with it. He goes for Thermite Core, and he's gonna be stockpiling uh, resources for one huge burst of attack. Maybe the Comets will be good then, because the Thermite Core uh, forces him to spend attack to construct a Pixie, and I... Uh, and he will want to spend his pixies pretty fast if I'm going for the comet. Maybe it's gonna be good. I think not when you click them, but they automatically produce gold. Ah, that's why! That's why! Oh yeah! You don't click them, they can defend. That's pretty good. But then I guess that's why they cost six. Drone. Wait, he's going for double Blast Forge. Maybe he wants Energy Matrix to better defend against my attacks. Now, do I build more drones? I think I'm not gonna build more drones. I think my attack is pretty all-in. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, it's a pretty all-in attack, alright? Let's just spam the engineers.
and uh, he's grabbing his first pixies. He's doing steel splitters. Now steel splitters are decent defenders. Uh, maybe he wants to alt. No, it, it, steel splitters are not that efficient in terms of attack. They cost to six and one blue in order to deal one damage. Oh, he's going for Apollo. Now he wouldn't be able to snipe my comet. Maybe he'd snipe my blast fort so I don't so I cannot build comets. Drown. He's going for Apollo. I, w I will be very curious to see how that one operates against uh, Antima Comet Strat. Um, um. I can actually afford another Comet. Um. That is pretty awesome. Because I had some leftover green. And now he drops all defense. So maybe he was dropping another... Another Blast Forge for this, and then for Apollo later, when he gets some time. So if he survives this, first of all, I'll be really impressed, because Antima Comet rushes were always killing me. And second of all, he will then uh, bounce into such a powerful economy that I will not be able to do anything against the guy. It would be ridiculously hard for me to actually get back. Home. Home. Space. Drone. But can he defend? Because this is gonna be plenty of attack. And I will already be killing some of his shit. This Comet next turn is gonna be amazing, isn't it? And he will not get Apollo or anything. I think, I, I think I've got him. Why not buy another Comet? I don't have two green. I have only one green. And it costs two, so I have to wait and buy the Comet every second turn. Normally, because I don't have the green for a Comet every turn. I would have to buy another conduit, but that would reduce the number of engineers I have. So I think buying more engineers is better. I mean, the number of comets is limited to four. So um, after two more, I would not be able to buy them anyway. So I'm assuming that buying more engineers will make those remaining comets that I have stronger, and I have a limited number of comets. Wait, how does he have so much, so much defense? How does he still have so much defense? Holy shit! That is a lot of defense. Drown. Um. I would not expect him to have as much. Now, of course, this is an all-in attack. If this doesn't work, what the hell do I do with all these engineers? And the answer is pretty much nothing. They are just useless meat. So if this attack doesn't pan out, well, shit. That's it. I just meat shield with my engineers and try to transition, but his economy is just too big. Drown. No more engineer supply. Oh, I haven't thought of that, actually. Fuck. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, when I, uh, you were referring to the one turn where I actually did it. Nice. Yeah, I did it. So, what's my transition? I think, I don't know, Apollo? No, I mean, making drones would seem reasonable. Since I have so many engineers, I may as well just build five drones, right? And then I will earn my money faster. Seems legit. Oh. Oh. I may actually want an energy matrix, though. For more efficient defense, so that I don't lose engineers. Makes my comets more efficient. Yeah, maybe I'll catch up his economy, dealing more damage than he is. I don't know. I need some transition, it seems. Because with Energy Matrix, he seems to be defending good enough. He's just gonna leave one or two drones back, and he's gonna be just fine. Holy crap. I am destroying a lot of stuff that he's producing, but once I stop destroying stuff, he'll still have more production. So that's a thing. Wow, I never was able to hold Antima Comet attacks like he's holding now. So what he did was he had more drones and he had the energy matrix in his build. Basically. Drone. Number eight. Well played. Well freaking played. Bravo. So I'm gonna go for Apollos, I think and just snipe his valuable things, but then the pixies could be quite scary. We'll see. We'll see. Home. 
Will it make a difference, this pixie? I don't think so. No, I think it will, it will. I think it will kill one more wall or not. What is my transition? I mean, I will have more economy now. One more drone than him. And the same amount of Blast Forges. And then he'll just have a, an advantage of some Pixies, and I'll have an advantage of having a lot of Engineers that can tank damage in the front, and then one more Antima Comet will be coming in. So I'm not down and out. As long as I recover economically from this, I think I might still be in this game. And he's spamming Steel Spitters, which are not that efficient. You can do Drones and Trinity Drones. I can, but... Drone. I believe it is time to go for aggression already. Oh. Let's get some Apollos. I hope they are as good as they seem, destroying any unit with three or less health, which means I can snipe his Steel Spitter no matter what his defense is. If not, I would go for Shadow Fangs, but if I go for Shadow Fangs, he will just snipe them himself, because he's got already three Brass Forges. I think... And then Apollo has 4 HP, so Apollo cannot snipe an Apollo, which could create a very interesting match, and by interesting I mean super fucking weird. If we both build one Apollo per turn, how the hell do we resolve this? I guess by Gauss Cannons. Yeah, I guess Gauss Cannons for me would be a good thing. Why would I get another Conduit? What do I actually need that was green? Aegis? No, because I, I don't know, is, is Blast Forge a unit? Maybe. Maybe it's a unit. If it is, then yeah, I would snipe it totally. If it is a unit. So this is my last combat, and he did hold off. He did defend properly. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> this game is stressful. It's freaking stressful. Oh. Oh. I think now I'm gonna snipe his defender. So that he will have a harder time defending. Drone. And he will lose all of his damage output in, except for Pixies. Um. Um. But let me just test. Um. Um. It is possible um, to target the Blast Forge, but I don't need to. I think I'd rather. I think the sp Steel Spitter costs more, and uh, you know he could always just spam Blast Forges. Until I cannot destroy it. But then, actually, yeah, if I kill the Blast Forge now, he will not have the resource next turn. So it will slow him down in that way, I guess. Oh. Oh. And then I could actually get Trinity Drones. It's, it's like producing a drone, basically. But it pays green. And only two... Yeah, it will give me an economical edge. If I get those two Trinity Drones. Also, my drones will not be snipeable if he goes for Apollos as same as I am. But it seems like he's going for Gauss Cannons. I think this is his answer to Apollos. Gauss Cannons cannot be sniped. So he will have a damage output that I will not be able to snipe. Yeah, I'm not building any more Apollos. This is not gonna work. He He's just gonna beat me with Gauss Cannons, with mass Gauss. Drone. And if that's the thing he's doing... I believe I'm gonna go for Shadow Fangs then. Oh. 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 Or maybe his conduit? Oh. I mean, this is more expensive, but he's not using this resource. Let's kill the conduit. Oh. Oh. Uh, then I've got three left over, I guess I can make it drown. Oh. And then just spam up some tar seers probably next turn, and then I'll be able to afford Shadow Fangs later. Killing the tech structures could be a solid strat actually. strat actually. Look at him, spamming three Blast Forges right now. He he knows what's up. He knows those Forges are going down. Um, 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 um. Well, now that he's guaranteed to have uh, a lot of Forges, it would be silly to kill those two, because with three he can do anything he wants anyway. So I might as well just get rid of his conduits instead. Drone. 
and then four Tarsiers, because they are the most efficient attacking unit that exists. Except they are quite fragile, but it's, I think he's going for Apollos now, I don't know. Now that he saw my Animus transition, he's transitioning to Apollo himself. Shit, I can't do this, I cannot do this. He, he I cannot stop him from going Apollo. N I can't. I need to go Ghost Cannon uh, Conduit myself, actually. Shit. I and mean, he's just gonna kill my Tarsiers, period. Nothing I can do. <laughs> because, because I cannot snipe Apollos. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Kondo, I have to. Nothing else makes sense. <laughs> Damn it. See, yeah, he's going for it, totally. He's gonna be fucking with me just like I'm fucking with him. Now I'm obviously gonna be sniping the Blast Forgers because they're the most expensive thing I can snipe. Round. This game is already so damn crazy, but I believe Gauss Cannons are the way to go. My double Animus was completely useless in the end. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? But I guess maybe I f the Animus served the purpose of uh, sending my opponent along a technological track he doesn't want to go to, because it's not as efficient. Still, it's a, it was wasted money. But I dealt more damage. This game is crazy. Drones at this point, but drones are so cheap, he can always rebuild rebuild them. He can always just... Re I guess he cannot rebuild the drones because he doesn't have the engineer. But the Blast Forges cost more. I think they are more worth it. And he will have to rebuild his Blast Forges. He'll be forced to. He gets more Termite cores, I guess for a single blast. He's actually getting a lot of Pixies, but then I have I have an infinity of Engineers that can defend, so he would have to have an infinity of Pixies himself. <sighs> so I'm getting 5 attack, he will have to start defending. Wait, now if I- oh god, if I kill his Engineers, I can overrun his Defenders, that is brilliant, I love it. And I can kill his Thermite core that... I mean, he's got a limited supply of those cores, right? So if I snipe it after the first turn, it's not really that... doing that much. I mean, it's free, but... Pretty much free, but he has only four in his deck, so he's basically gonna run out of the seeds of them. Drone. Charlie. Charlie. And I will need more conduits, considering that's what he's sniping, it seems. Alright. Alright, I see what you're doing. Maybe I'd prefer to limit him on Blast Forges this turn. And then obviously get two Gauss Cannons. And uh, maybe two more drones myself. I'm gonna buy out all the drones. Oh. No, one more Conduit, because he's sniping my Conduits. I want to have uh, some spares. I really like my move of sniping the Engineer so he doesn't have efficient defense anymore. <laughs> Apollo's so weird. No kidding, man. Varkin just got confused with losing his energy matrix. He could have left the drone behind or something, but... Now two walls, I can snipe. So, careful with that. <laughs> this is so crazy. Now obviously I have an infinity of engineers to defend with, so Antima Comet has left me in a good position in the end. Oh god, the first game and it's so epic. You know, I would expect some games to end just after a single rush, like the Antima Comet and I win. Mouse. Oh. Oh. Face. Now, yeah, I lose my Engineers, but he loses his long-term assets as well, in form of those attack points that he accumulated. Oh. 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 Yay! I win against Varkin! Good game! Oh. Golf. Golf. Enter. Oh, that was an epic one, wasn't it?